Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well. Ghani Adams to Buhari, God will never forgive you if Nigeria goes into war. Yeah, please, before we continue, if you're just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing, please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe. Also, on the notification button in that way anytime we upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you all are supporting us in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name amen this news is read the Ariana Kakafo of Yoruba land, Iba Ghani Adams, yesterday said God will not forgive President Muhammad Buhari if Nigeria goes to war. Adams raised the alarm yesterday at his 51th birthday Thanksgiving program held at the senior ministries, CS Worldwide, Lagos, while expressing worry at the growing speed of insecurity across the country. He said the calls for secession are genuine and legitimate, adding that such calls are pure demonstrations of the government's failure to address pressing issues that are capable of destroying the foundation and future of the country. Iba Adams expressed displeasure at the President Buhari's lackluster attitude to the myriad of security challenges in the country, pointing out that Nigeria has never had it so bad in the country than it is with the present administration where killer bandits have taken over the entire country. He added that President Buhari's silence on the security situation in the country is not golden, stressing also that the president's body language is already fueling disunity in Nigeria, lamenting that with clear nepotism, corruption, and insecurity, the future of this country is hanging in the balance schools are being short churches mosques are not spared bandits are gradually leading the country into a test spin and the president seems to have been bereft of idea what we are experiencing daily now in nigeria is enough to set the country on fire a section of the country lording itself over other sections yet they said we shouldn't talk that our cause for all do our republic was done in bad faith how can we explain the killings, kidnapping, and banditry spreading in the Northeast, West, and South. One of the greatest problems of this government is nepotism. One begins to wonder why Mr. President is insensitive to the plight of others, especially to the sorrow and agony of citizens losing loved ones and to bloodshed. In St. Klein's, love transcends ethnic, racial, or political boundaries. You must blink with pain to see people die or university students being killed a man to cold-hearted indifference. He said, Adams, however, urged President Buhari to rise to the occasion and listen to the genuine cause for true federalism where the regions develop at their pace. It is a wake-up call for President Buhari to address all these issues in the interest of the country as God will not forgive him if Nigeria disintegrates through war. He added. All right, guys, and uh, that is it from um, the Ariana Kakafu of Yoruba land, Iba Ghani Adams. Now, adding to what he said, I would like to say that the situation is getting depressed, just like what Wole Shonika said earlier when he made some statement concerning what Nigerians are going through. People have been saying this thing, and most people have vowed not to keep quiet until they get what they want because a lot of things has gone wrong already and none of the so-called leaders we have cares to know. For our prominent people in this country to be coming out to risk alarm on the bad things happening in this country, that means things has fallen apart. But just that some people are not seeing it or maybe they are seeing and hearing but the, the keep, the, some of them decide to keep quiet because of one reason or the other. Why some people are quiet because of their selfish interest. Every day we keep reading posts made by some dignitarians in this country, yet the people they are directing their statement to do not care 
if they are talking to them or not. Now tell me, ever since all these men have been voicing out, though we still have a lot of people who are still sleeping, which we are still praying for them that before they will wake up, it will not be too late for them. But thank God we have some people now who are now voicing out. Telling the so-called people we have in power to do something before this country collapse, what have they done? Are they even paying attention to all those complaints? But if they turn and start supporting agitation for a new nation, they will say eh, they are unpatriotic. They are dividing the nation. They will come out to say all sorts of things, but none of the so-called leaders we have in power are ready to do anything to address the many issues we have in this nation. Is it the people that are benefiting from the bloodshed, the people that are benefiting from the insecurity, those who have turned the insecurity, the banditry, the, terror the terrorism to a very big and lucrative business for themselves that are going to do anything to address the issue? Of course not. If they know how they can intensify it so that their pockets will be filled with blood money, they will do it. Buhari has failed. And all these agitations you are seeing everywhere today is as a result of a failed government, a government that has failed his people. It was not like this before they took over power. A good leader reason with his people and look for a way to solve their problem. I have always said it that we are not looking for a perfect country but a better country it is a gradual process buhari does not want to deal with any am i even saying buhari do you have anything like buhari in asorog the assumed living president we have in asorog and his cabas are not ready to deal with any of these terrorist groups because they are all working together truly like danny adam said if this country truly collapsed through war when they could have done the right thing, God in heaven will not forgive them because they still have the chance now to do the right thing. If they know that they cannot fix this nation, if they know that they are tired of leading the people, if they know that they cannot do the right thing, then it is time for them to let the people go in peace. We have so many nations who regained their freedom through peaceful referendum. It must not be true war. But the case of Nigeria, anything that has to do with Nigeria is always the other way round. These days now, we now live in fear. Nobody is actually safe in this country. But all the same, people should be careful because we are in the evil days. We are in a, we are in a country where the terrorist groups are being paid to kill innocent people, to attack innocent security groups created by the people and for the people. And I will not say they should stop all the evils they are doing against the people. But one thing for sure is that what goes around comes around the people now are now waking up and this time around they face they are facing the government so what is coming upon them surely they will not escape it if they will not turn from their evil ways and that is it for you all i'm just going to leave you all to share your thought with me on the comment section and with that i'll say thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you your love your support and effort upon this channel is not taken for granted let me know what you think and i'll see you all in my next video bye bye bye